it looks like this is a cartoon where they still use these things called cells, oh. uh, clear sheets of paper mm -hmm. that they drew, they inked on top and they mm -hmm. painted the back. Mm -hmm. Cause the way you can tell is that sometimes the they'll they'll get a some of the paint won't match. Yeah. And that dude's mustache just turned, it's like <laughs> it's like a neon sign, it gets bright and dark oh, again. Shit. We listen to you and your nonsense about oh, you're right. yeah. Your <laughs> yeah, it's going back and forth. Yeah, you're right. There's a lot of stuff that are, that that's out before you've been born yep, that you correct. know about. Yep. Uh there's some stuff that was uh that was out when you were born that you still don't know about. Sure, of course, like today. <laughs> and that is and that is one of the things I wanted to talk about. And I wanted to just kind of catch up on the things that your generation grew up with out there, but I want to talk about things that I grew up with that you might have missed. And I want to talk about some of the things that maybe overlapped that you might have, or in this case, you didn't catch. Mm, okay. And those are some of the things that make for very interesting discussions because uh, a lot of these things have a lot of history behind them that you don't know about, which makes for actual great conversation. Of course. And so let me look at this here. Let me bring up something here. And a lot of times we stick with a theme when we do these. And so usually the theme coincides with uh, a movie that's coming out at the time or a show that's coming out or mm -hmm. something that's coming yeah, out yeah. at the time that we're recording this. Now you might see this years later and this thing will already be out. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody forgot about it, whatever. But as of this recording, in about a week or so, there's a movie coming out where Adam Driver is fighting a T-Rex or something. It's called good. 65. We ready? Run. Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the dinosaurs will stay away from that now. <laughs> Have to do that every couple minutes. <laughs> I was like, God, no, shut up. Uh, so I was watching that trailer. Yeah. And it immediately made me think of a Saturday morning cartoon okay. that came out uh, years ago. Early 90s. Early 90s. Now, Saturday mornings, or Saturday morning cartoons, rather, in the, in the early 90s, 93, 94, 95, they were actually starting to decline a little bit. Because mm. now we don't have Saturday morning cartoons that's anymore. That's true. That's done. But in 93, cartoons were still kind of going strong. And one show that stood out on CBS is a show that made me think about this movie that's coming out. All right. And I heard a few other people mention it too. And some of you, some of you lucky few out there, regardless of age or anything, some of you right, you might remember this show right here, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. <laughs> In the 26th century, mankind faces an epic struggle for survival. I'm glad they got that guy again. In the 26th century! <laughs> he survived. His family survived. And they, you know, they have survival! The, tradition. <laughs> the forces of nature have spun wildly out of control. A world where only the strong survive. A world of Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Wow. And as you saw in that intro right there... They deliver. Yeah. You, oh, get, yeah. you get at least one Cadillac. Mm -hmm. They give you a whole lot of dinosaurs. Yep. So this came out in, as I said, in 93. Now, what stood out to me on this one, this was, uh, this was an edgier looking show for Saturday Morning Cartoon. It actually had a lot in common with uh, Fox Kids, because Fox was the place at the time that was doing a lot of uh, the edgy stuff, sure, the cool sure. stuff. Sure, place to go to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. and so, you know, the Fox Kids shows, they had shows that looked similar to this. Uh, such as X Men. Mm -hmm. You know they had Spider Man sure, and all that kind sure, of stuff. Sure, sure, of course, of course. So this was the this cartoon was I, I imagine was uh, CBS's answer to the edgy stuff that Fox was doing. Mm -hmm. You can see, you see that. similar animation style and whatnot. This was based on a comic book or graphic novel, if you want to get fancy about it, uh, except it was under a different name. Mm. It was uh, Zenith, Xenozoic Tales. Yeah, it's hard to sell as a, as a TV show. Yeah. <laughs> Xenozonic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not anyone can say it. As you, you saw, I just stumbled over myself. <laughs> Zeno, 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 so did I. Xenozoic Tales. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah. That does not roll off the tongue. No, it does not. Right there. Uh, that was a, uh, a graphic novel by a guy named Mark Schultz. It was an award-winning comic. 
actually won a bunch of Harvey Awards and whatnot. Right, yeah, success. Always, when I was in the comic book store at the time, when I was looking, uh, you know, when I was at a comic book store. Yeah. I don't tell people that. I got yeah, Okay, I know you have your reputation, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, okay, no, 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 funny books, I understand. No, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. You know, when I was passing by a comic book store. Of course, of course. Uh, this would always stand out. I always had great art covers. Man. Oh, wow, okay. And you made a great point. You said mm. that this was kind of reminiscent of the pulpy novel. Yeah, it, it reminded me of Doc Savage when I saw the artwork. Yeah, you no, know, very I mean, much. you have these, you know, these uh, uh, strong jawed heroes, chiseled looks. <laughs> you have the voluptuous women with, you know, their breasts hanging out. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah painted yeah, that here. Oh, yeah. yeah, I could tell. Yeah, yeah. You ever heard of this before? The show, uh, not till today. No, not till today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's the. That's the crazy thing about this show. It seems like such a cool concept, and I thought more people knew about it, but when I found out they didn't, I said, we must definitely talk about this. Because it wasn't like it was obscure. The comic book was very famous. Okay. Very popular with people. It was award-winning. Uh, they even had a successful video game. Now, I don't, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't know too much about the video game, but it was sort of like, it was yeah. those beat-em-ups like Double Dragon or oh, something. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, damn. <laughs> This had a cool concept for a Saturday morning cartoon. Sure. So, you know, if you were listening to the uh, the intro, you know, they were telling you that this is this is uh, taking place after an apocalypse, yeah. an, apoc an, an apocalyptic event that crumbled society and and it brought back a, a creatures thought to be extinct, mainly dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it combined things that appealed to boys. I mean, cars and dinosaurs. I love both of those things, right? I mean, mm -hmm. how could you? That's an instant win. How could you lose with that? That's a that's a that's an that's a winning combo there. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, I mean, everything was it seemed everything was uh, behind this property right here as far as being successful. You know, the appeal to the demographic of boys. The video game was popular. The comic book was popular. Built an audience. Built an audience, and this came out in 1993, the same year that there was a groundbreaking cinematic event that happened. Hold on to your butts. So, demand for dinosaurs was at an all-time high. Yeah, it was all-time high. It was all lined up to be and a success, seemingly. You no, know, well, I'm sure that they put this show together mm -hmm. knowing that Jurassic Park was about to come out. Of course, yeah. And they said, all right, you know what? Let's ride the wave, mm -hmm. man, that dino mm -hmm. wave. Yeah. So, you put that all together and Cadillacs and dinosaurs should have been a massive success. But only lasted 13 episodes. Yep. Yeah, 13, they only had one season. 13 episodes, maybe some ran and rerun, but after 13 episodes, sure. done. Why? Well, that's what we're gonna try to find out by looking at this episode. Now, I'm sure that there's stuff that you can read about this, some some, some, some business decision that said this had to go. Why this failed possibly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I decided we should probably look at the show. Sure, sure, itself. And yeah. see the quality of the show and see if mm -hmm. there's anything that contributed to the cancellation of this. Yeah. Uh, the lack of interest in it. Yeah. Seemingly. Seemingly. And we did that with the the, the first episode, which lays out everything for you. It's mm -hmm. an episode called uh, Rogue. It's the introductory ep episode of this. And this is the episode we learn about everything. You know, we learn everything about this world. Yeah. Uh, we meet our first characters, which we assume are the good guys mm -hmm. because, well, they talk real smart. They do. <laughs> The vegetation here in the north is even stranger than at home in Wasoon. I must make a note. I wonder how the people in the city and the sea will react when they meet us. They must be good guys. They're so well spoken. Yeah, yes. And, and they got a hot ass chick. Yeah, with them. That, that, that right there <laughs> yeah. indicates it visually. Yes. Yeah. I mean, this, I mean, them animators were they they didn't hot try they didn't try to hot that cleavage. Then. No, no, no. They they don't try throughout the rest of the episode either. I mean, that that line is long right there. Yeah. <laughs> that animator drew that carefully. Mm -hmm. uh, that character is Hannah Dundee. Like a crocodile. Dundee, crocodile Dundee. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're stealing from everybody. They do. <laughs> Not only does she have the name of Crocodile Dundee, another uh, action character, but I don't know if, you, if you're old enough to know what the image of her is based off of, probably. Well, she's, oh, I mean, I mean, I mean the, the whole thing of the like the, the tied shirt and revealing the belly and then wearing the khaki pants. The, I mean, that's just been used in so many different books and comics and, yeah. and video games and movies. I, mean, I couldn't even tell you where it originally came from. I couldn't say. I speculate that this was sort of based on a pinup image. Oh, sure, I could see that. Like, yeah, definitely. Like if you take the if so, so looking at from this, the fifties or sixties or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like older? from the fifties and sixties. So if you take like the 
the the the tied shirt, the big breast, mm -hmm. and the black hair mm -hmm. reminded me a lot of Betty Page. Oh, okay. Now, do you know who Betty Page? Is? I'm, no, I'm not familiar with that. Betty Page is probably the most famous pinup girl ever. Ah, gotcha. Dead okay. now. Yeah. But at the, but time. At the time, she was yeah, fine yeah. as hell. Yeah. So I thought for a Saturday morning cartoon, mm -hmm. the animation was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was fun. It, I, I mean, I liked it. I mean, it was definitely reminiscent of things from the 90s. You already brought up the examples of X-Men stuff. It looked just like yeah. that. Yeah. You know, looking at it, I just thought, you know, because I grew up with a lot of shitty <laughs> animated cartoons. I mean, they, sure. they, they stayed around like Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Scooby-Doo was, was, was a cheap-ass cartoon, okay, right. when it was made. It, you know, when the digital age started to pop up around the 90s and whatnot, and... Uh, you had assistance from computers. Things got a little bit, a uh, little bit. The animation got a little cheaper, just a little bit, and a little bit easier to produce. So it was kind of cool for me mm -hmm. coming from a generation where I grew up with Saturday morning cartoons, and they were known for looking like shit. Right. To see uh, so much detail, more detail. Man, than usual. yeah, to get a lot of detail, and sure. I mean, especially with some of the action sequences that they had, right, right. which is what they opened the episode with. You know, I was looking at this animation. I said, you know what? This animation combined with uh, the concept and combined with the big titty hot chicks. You know, yeah, that, like, that does it. That'll, yeah. that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I said, man, this show has a a slight adult appeal to it. Of course, of course. I, I would imagine. Wait, well, people getting you know trapped by you know a bunch of Ewok esque <laughs> devices. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then you have the the, the, the the voluptuous woman escaping. Yeah. That'll get anyone's attention. Yeah. Seemingly. Oh yeah. Attention. You know. You know. Shit. If Dad's walking in through the house, he's gonna stop looking at yeah, that. Right you watch it. Our mom. You yeah. know, yeah. depending yeah. on yeah. her preference. Yeah. You know, who knows? Yeah. Whoever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. But, but that's what I. You know, if you if you caught it at this part at the beginning, you're probably thinking like, okay, man, this is actually. This is shooting a little higher yeah. than the sad, than the, than the average Saturday morning mm -hmm. cartoon. Typical stuff. But then it becomes very apparent very soon that this is a kid show. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you got a little goofy guy. Ah! <laughs> I mean, they're not even using words, man. No, no, no. They're not even, and they get goofier as they go along because mm -hmm. people, they're not even using words, but then it's, you know, right there, I can let that slide. Ah! Mm -hmm. That's still goofy. Mm -hmm. But it gets goofy. Now we get into like almost Jerry Lewis territory. We're like, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Jump. Ah! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whereas, you know, based on what's actually happened, they would go like, oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, we're going to die. Yeah, but they can't, they can't say that. <laughs> yeah. And then you see the villains, and they're very much kids cartoon villains, man. Yeah. Uh, we said this before. Mm -hmm. nothing, says, not, not, nothing says bad guy in a 90s cartoon like the mullet. Oh, that'll, that'll do it. That yeah. mullet, that mullet. Baby, if, a, if you're in a 90s cartoon and you have a mullet, and especially if it's long. Oh, it's long. And it's, it's not as long. long, and you got the flat top at the mm -hmm. top, too. You're up to no good. Wait for the order, wrench. If you jump the gun, you'll foul up the ambush. Are you sure this antique is going to work? Let's hope it doesn't blow up in our faces. Plus, they all look like villains out of a Captain Planet cartoon Man, or I was something. thinking that. They, they look like they didn't make the cut for Captain Planet. And so it's like, like, hey, listen, we got Cad Cadillacs and dinosaurs for you. Yeah. You can go there, yeah, and yeah. They all talk like this. Yeah, yeah, they all that. And all, they all have like these weird, disgusting names, like what, Wrench? Wrench, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, Wrench. the name after objects, and M and objects. And, yeah, and screwdrivers. It's, never, it's never normal names for them. The heroes have somewhat normal names, at yeah, least. Yeah, <laughs> no, they do. At least first names, that is. And I mean, they, and you know, this is uh, the '90s was very loud with dressing anyway. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah so if you were a villain, you've dressed up ostentatious. Yeah, you did. Like, like yeah. this dude right here. Hands up! Hammer left me in charge. I'm doing it right. Like that dude's a New York pimp. Yeah. <laughs> you know? He's got the ponytail, the yeah. earring, the shirt mm -hmm. all the way open. Mm -hmm. You want to uh, dress nice in the apocalypse, <laughs> man? Yeah, even if it's dystopian, want to look good. We meet our hero. The big protagonist in the show, as you say, the the what do you say, the strong jaw, yeah, strong jaw, chiseled, you know, features, kind of mm. kind of hero, yeah, pulp hero, if you will, pulp hero. Uh, except with the, with we get Jack, yeah, Jack, and they serve a, serve a little cheese with that pulp, man. Oh yeah, a lot. He's got a heap of helping up. Yeah, extra, little, little cheese. he wants extra cheese, <laughs> and on the side too, just in case he wants more. <laughs> Very cheesy intro for what's supposed to be the rugged hero of this show. We're going right 
Going down the freeway. <laughs> you know, what freeway? <laughs> yeah, no, he just he's cruising the dirt like he's rolling down Crenshaw or something. That's that's the one thing. It's like okay, I get it. It's like Cad- Cadillacs, and dinosaurs. All right, we have these vehicles, but the way that they're able to go in the jungle of this thing and like never uh, encounter like uh, a pothole or uh, like yeah. difficult terrain. It's like you can just take the Cadillac. Anyway. That's how good of a car it is. You should buy a Cadillac, yep. by the way, kids. <laughs> Once you're old enough, right? No, I'm glad you noticed that because yeah. they just rolling smooth all the time, all the time. Like they're on the like that's like that's newly laid asphalt. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm glad to see that they're still making customized plates in the apocalypse right here, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Zenoic, Zenoic. Yeah, he's got to do it himself. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> painted all right mm-hmm. there. Just cardboardy found. Yeah, it's probably a shtick. So Jack is a is is a is a kind of a badass hippie, man. That is the best way to describe him. Yeah, he wants he wants in this new age of dinosaur and man, he wants man to live in harmony, not with just not not with just nature, but with the actual dinosaurs. The machinery of life is a balance. We have to maintain it. But also, no, make no mistake, you know, he'll beat the shit out of anybody that gets in his way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, he won't kill you. He's like <laughs> Batman, but he'll he'll cripple you. <laughs> yeah, he sure will, man. He's, one of the things I can say, and I should say this later, but I'm, I'm just going to say it right now. I think mm. one of the things that actually kind of hurts us a little bit, I don't think Jack is that interesting. No, and he's the most boring character in the show. Yeah, he is. And he's kind of a kind of a dick, too, man. He's yeah. a, little, a little bit of an asshole. You were wrong, Tenrec. It's back. I know what has to be done. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm still talking to you. <laughs> Just stay out of my way. Yeah. They didn't even animate his mouth right there, by the way. Oh, but I know. Did you see no. that? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, we also meet the villains soon after. Multiple villains. Multiple villains. Yeah, you you met Mullet Man, whose name is Hammer, right here. He looks like a hammer. Yeah, he, he <laughs> does, man. He's got that kind of look. <laughs> but uh, the main villain, the main antagonist here is... Uh, Woman named uh, Wilhelmina. Sh- uh, Sh- I got a, a name right. I don't, know to, I don't know how to say her name. Like every time I, I say, it, I'm like, wow, man. <laughs> Sharnhurst, I think. Y'all could. That's another thing. This is a kid, so you could get fifteen. That thing's got fifteen syllables. I can't yeah. say. <laughs> you could. You could have streamlined that name right there. But. I would have just said the really butch lesbian. Yes. Yeah, oh my god. Because <laughs> that's what she they is. don't come out and say it, but but, but yeah. Wilhelmina, boy. <laughs> Yeah, Wilhelmina digs chicks, man. Yeah, yeah, she does. Some great weapons you got for a shine horse. Well, I want to be talking about her titties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got weapons. the ballistics for yeah. you right here. I mean, because at first I thought, I said, man, that's a, I thought that was a dude. Yes, at I first. Said, Is that- well, they, she has a man's face. They, they totally draw her with a man's face and they gave her a butch woman's body. Man, she got more chin than Jack does. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like Lex Luthor a little talk, bit. Talk, I mean, yeah, you know what she reminded me of? Kingpin. Yeah, she, got she like a did. Kingpin yeah. Vibe. yeah, yeah. She's part of this because uh, I have to look this up because I heard them mention this. She's part of a board of governors. So they right. got a, like a committee. They introduce a lot in this first episode. They do a lot of terms, a lot of places. Yeah, so they they have this committee called the board of governors, and they run this uh, city in the sea. It's like dystopian Man- Manhattan. It is. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just a flooded Manhattan. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the rest of the city, I'm sure, is underwater. But uh, with her, you know. They had a they had a, they had a great angle with her, because uh, unlike Jack, she's in dinosaurs. You know, we, yep. I'm trying to. I, my concern is humans. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to progress humanity, and she's always campaigning. Man, they have one. They got one radio station yep. in this world. <laughs> it is her. <laughs> yeah, it's her. Yeah. By telling us we can't build where we want to, they are taking food out of the mouths of your children. She was like, I was listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> hey. uh, so I thought that that would have been a great angle to make her a, a, a complex character. That would have been cool. Yeah, because uh, she's you know she's not totally bad, just doing what she thinks is best. It's like she has uh, you know she's doing bad things for good reasons. Exactly, mm-hmm. and, and and she is doing that. I mean, she's 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 doing bad things to get to you know for what she thinks will be the greater good right right you know like she's the one that her her whole storyline here is that she's trying to ruin the reputation of jack who's already an asshole probably, so probably not take much and already <laughs> people are already hating him right now right you dirty hippie look at the, y'all always talk about the dinosaurs but uh her whole angle is to ruin his reputation by uh driving one of the the, the dinosaurs crazy right and having him uh trample a village you know just, uh, uh, and they kind of control him to do so this time we only lost our houses what if next time it's our lives the great beasts fear us as much as we fear them it won't come back and what if it does 
then I'll destroy it. Damn. So I thought that that was kind of cool that you got this 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 uh pretty much is politician who's who's uh concern it really is I'm gonna do some bad things but before you call me evil just you know look look at the end goal right look at look at the wider picture here mm-hmm. you know I thought that would have been great but the show for, for me at least it takes the 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 it takes the easy route. Yeah, she's, okay. just, she's just evil. It's like being evil and yeah. she wants power. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. She just corrupt and wants power, and that's her only thing, you know. So you know, there's there's no uh, complexity is gone. Now we build where we want, clear forests, drain rivers, cut down any living thing that stands in our way. <laughs> Jack Henrik. She's like, mm-hmm, go on, girl. Right, <laughs> just, right, yeah, like, like go on. Okay. What else? It's nice. Philosophy is finished, and so is he. So. I was like, man, you know, th- they had something and uh, they decided to just. And that's that's one of the things that I think kind of hurts this show, uh, some, along with some more things. But I thought that they had a chance to actually do something more characters. A lot of a lot of the series feels like <coughs> it's almost like a holdover in terms of the sensibilities of one of those mm-hmm. 80s cartoons like Transformers, G.I. Joe, et cetera. Where yeah. they're just like very generic villains. Whereas in the 90s, we started to get more complex villains on TV. You know, yeah. like uh, uh, David Zantos and Gargoyles, who was yeah. was also kind of a good guy occasionally. You know, like and, and here it's like it, it seems to have that facade. But then when you look, it's like, oh, no, it's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just generic as it was in the 80s. They're just villains who just want power just for the sake of having power. Are yeah. they want are they just they, they're so focused on just having one thing mm-hmm. like like Hammer, who Hammer's a side character. So I can I don't care too much about him. You know, all he wants is he just says, I just, I'm just messing with Jack because I just want his garage. When you get what you want, I get Tenric's garage and everything in it. Of course. Now, I will yeah. say, before I, you know, make fun of the man, it is a badass garage. It is yeah, pretty cool. It's got cool. a lot of stuff, and even I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> it's got nice views of lava pits, yeah, and yeah, it's got, like, an acid moat. Yeah, that's what you want. Cadillacs? Lined with, like, uh, 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 antique cars. Mm-hmm. Here's my garage. Garage? It's, it's more like a fortress. And also, that was another interesting angle. Like, these guys... Uh, because you're thinking, how the hell do they build this drawbridge and everything? Like, these are all mechanics, man. Like, their whole lifestyle is dedicated in the apocalypse to, like, bringing, uh, you know, me- uh, 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 um, a mechanical sense back to this world. It's like, it's a, it's a combination of, like, maintaining balance, both with the ecological world, but also, like, yeah. the world of the future and, and yeah. technology and things. And they, they reference, like, a, a ton of stuff and even call them. A, they're, like, the part of this mechanics pact or whatever organization. Yeah, like, almost like it's a religion for them or it something. It is. It yeah. is kind of fanatical in, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Garage even comes with uh, Jack's own pet dinosaur. <laughs> the damn dinosaur trying to rape his ass. I'm like prison or something, man. I mean, when that happened, I was like, give him a hug. I'm like, dinosaurs oh, wouldn't kill like, him. What? Uh, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> like, he, that would have crushed him. It, it would have killed him. Get off me, man. You're killing me. Is, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she's still like, huh? Oh. <laughs> you don't come back inside until you understand the difference between inside and outside. He's like, you Kidding me? Yeah. Where'd she pull those weapons yeah, up, by I, the way? I, she didn't have them before. Uh, yeah, just, <laughs> I mean, maybe they were just lying around. She just picked them up. Dinosaur in there. Sure. Yeah, dinosaur is kind of like, uh, I looked at that, I was like, oh shit, that's like the more realistic version of Dino. Yes. <laughs> from, from yes. The, from, from the Flintstone. I mean, he, he can kill you. Or yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> Except Dino, know. yeah, Dino just licks you, man. Mm-hmm. Other dinosaurs trying to rape you. <laughs> um, but that's the problem with the show, I thought. You brought it up, man. It, you know, with the, I think the success of something like Batman yes. on Fox. Mm-hmm. Which came out a year before this one. Yeah, yeah. The success of Batman on Fox are the success of something like, uh, you know, we, we were already talking about this. Uh, the X-Man show, you know, the the X-Man show had this whole, you know, this this complex morality with the with the mutants, man. Sure, sure. You know, you, know, you had, uh, especially with somebody like Magneto, who, you know, people hate us. I, you know, why should we actually not defend mm-hmm. ourselves? You know, mm-hmm. there was a, you, you dealt with things like that. Batman had some more adult themes in there sometimes for a kid's dealing show. With villains who had psychological illnesses and, and, and crime, how she approached certain, certain situations. Yeah. Yeah. It and I don't know if this was the purpose, but these just feel like characters to sell action figures, man. Yeah, they it, feel they feel like action figures. It's like it, it, occasionally the show kind of it's like it's trying to make a point of yeah, you should respect the environment. There should be a nice balance, but then it's like let's have some dino action, and then they yeah. have these ridiculous kind of one note characters. You know? Yeah, exactly. 
it, look, it might not be complex with the characters, but man, it gets sometimes maybe a little too complex with the verbiage in here. No, the, the verbiage, yes, yes. They, they, there's so much exposition in this first episode. Uh, it's, it's a lot of exposition, but also, I just wasn't clear what they were talking about. Oh, sure, the terms. Now, yeah. some things I said, I can hold off. You know, I'm intrigued to find out what this is because I, it was obvious that they weren't, it wasn't meant for me to know what it is at that moment. I guess so. You know, I, I, I said, you know, you'll reveal this, whatever this thing is that you're talking about later on. You know what did this to us? It was a giant shivet. A ship? That's impossible. They never come out of the foothills. Now, first I thought he said I had to take a giant shit. Yeah, <laughs> and then I said a, sh a shiver, a sh yeah, shivel, yeah. shit, shiv it. You can't even you can't even remember it sometimes. I, I was like, I don't know what that is, but obviously that's some creature that we haven't seen before. So mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and just wait and, and see what you have to say. Uh, but then they just start they just start saying some shit that just completely lost me. Yeah. We listen to you and your nonsense about the machinatio vitae. Huh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Talk about nonsense. Talk about similar or what? Yeah. Also, if you notice, it's one of those things where they, people, this is, a, I, I, I imagine, it looks like this is a cartoon where they steal you these things called cells, oh. uh, clear sheets of paper mm -hmm. that they drew, they inked on top and they mm -hmm. painted the back. Because mm -hmm. the way you can tell is that sometimes the, they'll, they'll get a, some of the paint won't match. Yeah. And that dude's mustache just, turned, it's, like, <laughs> it's like a neon sign. It gets bright and dark oh, again. Shit. We listen to you and your nonsense about Oh, you're right. Yeah. Your <laughs> yeah, it's going back and forth. Yeah, you're right. So, Anyway, come to find out that this the this, this shift thing that they're talking about. <laughs> Get back to work. <laughs> taking, all, taking all these coffee breaks. Uh, it's a T-Rex. Yeah. I was like, well, just, just, just call it T-Rex. I mean, you know Jurassic Park's going to come out. They're going to call it a T-Rex or an Allosaurus or whatever it might be. You know, yeah. people are going to be more familiar with those terms now. You have the best brand recognition right there. Call yes. it a T-Rex. Yep. And I really believe that if they had just, it, you know, if they could have put in their marketing, you know, this is a T-Rex. This is, you know, the pterodactyl or whatever. Yep. Because mm -hmm. none of these dinosaurs are called what we normally know them as. Exactly. You yeah. know, I looked, on, I, I, I looked this up on uh, Wikipedia. Yep. And all these triceratops are called a Mac. I was, I why? Was like, Dude, yeah, why? 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 Mac? Yeah, of all, of all things. Yeah, Brachiosaurus, tree grazer. You know, I guess they're trying to create their own. You know, the history vernacular. Here. I get yeah. it. It's like, this is our lore because then they can we can trademark all this and we can sell it that way. I mean, I see their thinking, but you know, they they they, they overthought. They overthought. That I was thought. The that, yeah, mm -hmm. I thought. I, I agree with you one hundred percent. To the point where it's like we don't know what the hell you're talking about anymore. Yeah, and our protagonist can be just a little confusing all of them you know either they're not that interesting or just certain things i just don't understand with them uh, so uh in this episode first episode you, uh, hannah dundee meets jack right for the first time and the mm -hmm. way she does that is she thinks that jack is an enemy so she ambushes him by uh hiding behind some tall grass and shooting his tires out on his cadillac so she crashes the car, but the, okay. So the episode we saw it opens with her in a truck. Yes. Yeah, it's it's a hell of a cold opening. I'm like, I don't know what you haven't established anything yet. Yeah, it opens up with her in a truck, but yes, she's confused about a car. So you just make that 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 thing of yours work again, that, that, okay? That, that thing is a Cadillac. It's like, it, it, but she says. I mean, she's confused. She's stuttered. That that, yeah. that, that, that that She's confused. Like she doesn't know that's a car. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You they, you're in a truck. You know what a car is. Yeah. She's like, well, I guess this one is very ostentatious. Yeah. <laughs> she's used to more. You know. It's like you don't know what a car is, but she dresses like she dresses modern. Right. You know, she dresses like Betty Page. Like I told you, man. She you know right down to having like you know nail polish. Yep. And everything. And she's she's yeah she she she's maintained herself. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's very well kept. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed in movies and in TV shows, every woman in the apocalypse does not have hairy legs? No, oh, I know, I know. Yeah, you know they don't have facial hair. Well, they they do they... say she's a diplomat, so she has to look good. That's right? okay. Yeah. True, true, true. You got me there. Very true. I can't really establish the rules of this world yet. Rules. Well, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm still trying to figure out. Like, okay, we're in the future. Dinosaurs came back, and there's no explanation for that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just like, all right. <laughs> well, I'm wondering if they're going to explain that in later episodes. They might. They might. They might. But one of the things I can't figure out, I can't tell if if dinosaurs are dangerous by nature or if they're docile. You know, I I don't know how they choose to be friendly to certain people and be angry at others. Not. <laughs> 
Or maybe his crotch just stinks real bad. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Like, like, no, not you. <laughs> no. You got dick right down there. <laughs> I'm not even mad. Yeah. But, well, even this episode, they try to establish there's like this little Yoda guy. <laughs> well, I'm going to talk about oh, that. Gonna, okay, yeah, because okay. I was like, I'm like, what's happening yeah. here? Uh, and see, that's the thing with the dinosaurs because at one moment they say, you know, like they just snip this one guy. I was like, okay, you, hey, you, 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 you're, you're an ally. We know, <laughs> you, know? you. We know yeah. you. You're you, fighting you, a good fight. You've for supported us. us before. Okay, you're yeah, good. you get one. <laughs> because other with other people, they carry a grudge. Yeah, like apparently they know who's their friends and they know who's their enemies. Because mm-hmm. Hammer, who put the tracking device on the back of this, uh, uh, it's a T Rex. Goddamn it! I'm not calling him the Shiver. Right? Sure. It's a, yeah, it's a T Rex. He puts the device on the back of the T Rex and makes T Rex go crazy. And Jack is like, all right. That T-Rex don't remember that shit. When that shivet finds you, what's left of you won't even be a smear on the forest floor. Damn. In a minute. <laughs> Ooh, let's get out of here. You're a villain, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Running in fear. Hey, hey, you're a bitch-ass villain. Yeah. Uh, you know, but there's there's a few good things about the show that are out there. You know, I, uh, that 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 I see potential for that. I think the show could either succeeded on or you know gotten uh, gotten better with. Yeah. Um, for '93, the show is uh, it's pretty diverse. Mm-hmm. Oh you sure, know. yeah. In terms of the cast, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, there's a uh, there's there's a lot of different shades of color in this. <laughs> Why soon, huh? We heard there was another tribe of survivors somewhere south of here. They even made the brother well smoke. He speaks he speaks like Dudley Do Right. <laughs> I yes. heard that there was another tribe around here. Well, he's a scientist mechanic. Yeah, he was, yeah, 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 yeah. Got a do rag on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you got, you got to give him that. Yeah, come you got to give him that, man. Come on, come on. Yeah, we got, eth- we got to give him some ethnic a like touch bit. a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, we got to black him up a little bit. <laughs> black him up. <laughs> um, as I said, the the the, uh, the animations. Is, is really good. It's uh, what I like about it is very dynamic. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of things that are moving. You know, they keep the, the characters moving, but they keep the backgrounds moving a lot too. Yeah. I hope I live long enough to find out if I'm right about this. <laughs> and they show blood. Yeah, I was surprised by I, that. I was like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was uh, I was surprised about that too. <laughs> Oh, it's yeah, dinosaur huh? blood. Yeah, exactly. So, and he's not hurting the dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. He's not. He's helping. Actually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the show did want make me want to see more. Like I want to. Also, oh, to, to get to what you're talking about, I had to look this up because I'm like, okay, what is going on? Yeah, here? I didn't know that. I don't understand that at all. So they got these telepathic lizard people. Yes. Your blood calls you. Your blood wakes you. It's a Yoda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The wizard Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> you must. Trust the Macanatio Vitae. Okay, I don't know what he said. Uh, Macanomia uh, Tai? Macalate, yeah. uh, Grande, whatever, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, Terms like that, I'm just like, I, I, I zone out. I like, yeah, right. it's, again. You're I, not explain it well. Nah. It's too much at once. I agree. Uh, but I did want to learn more about what was happening with these, these lizard people. Turns out, because I had to read on this. Uh, sure. These are uh, lizard people who they're pretty much like the Native Americans of this world. Ah, I got you. And since since Jack is a dirty hippie, they just kind of like, you know, well, <laughs> well, you know, you're cool with us, man. They yeah. get they give him they allow. Uh, he's the only one allowed in their land. Ah, OK. OK. Since he's all about the gotcha. earth. He's the he's the bridge between their respective. Yeah, worlds. he's the dance gotcha. of the wolves. And, gotcha. You know, yeah, he's the, he's the Kevin Costner. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there you just, go. He's just as dull as him as he is as in Dance of Wolves. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool to see what survived in this apocalyptic world. You know, we were talking yeah. about how. That's cool. Yeah, I thought I thought that was a good thing. I always like that kind of that theme, man. I always like that kind of imagery. So they got the city and the sea and the water. You see there's a part of New York that's sticking out. Yeah. They seem to have technology too. But has any of the old knowledge survived? Yeah. New York Public Library. <laughs> like she's, wait, she's reading slow yeah. like that. New York Public. You know how to read. <laughs> like, yeah, Clearly. Yeah, come on now. Yeah. You know what this is. I mean, that's kind of the, the majority of stuff I got for this. I mean, what do you what do you got to say? Well, about I, th- this, I think you know. Initially, it has a great premise. I like the idea of a dystopian futuristic world in which the dinosaurs came in. It's kind of like what I want in the Jurassic Park franchise eventually, yeah, yeah. where it's just like, oh yeah, they made it the the mainland and it got worse, and now we kind of have this weird, almost futuristic Neolithic society. And we have to live with the dinosaurs, but it's a 
it's a daily struggle, right? And we're constantly in danger. He actually said something very funny. He said, "This is what Fast and Furious should have turned oh, into." Oh, sure, yeah, this, yeah, absolutely, yeah, no doubt with the with the with the cars and everything. I yeah. wish, I wish, I, I wish it was. That's what went we should. Ben Diesel should be in that yeah, scene right what, there. Yeah, I don't care about Jason Momoa. No, I don't care about Aquaman. Have him fight dinosaur. That's what I want. And then have you know eventually one of them become a family member, yeah, as they say, and they have in this. You know, they have little pet Allosaurus. Now that, that's cute. It's like no. I mean, listen, for a kid in the '90s, um, this would have been my jam. You know, because I had seen Jurassic Park and I. Loved. Every kid loved it when they first saw yeah. it. It's like, you have a dinosaur cartoon and you have humans fighting dinosaurs and you have raiders and stuff. Awesome. It's just that be, because they use all these different terms, they throw so much at you. It gets overwhelming, kind of dull. They just, they overthought too much. Yeah. And I think that's why it probably failed and why it doesn't. Because, yeah, I mean, this this property should be as big as any other comic that came from like what the 80s and 90s. You know, no, exactly. now it's kind of fallen into obscurity. It's a great way of putting it. They overthought it. Yeah. Way too yeah, much. They had a... Because this this was a very straightforward concept that should have st- stood on its own, man. Yeah. Everything should have been like dinosaurs in name. T-Rexes, you know, brontosaurs, velociraptors, all that kind of all stuff. All that, all yeah. that. And you have your villains who's just trying to take over, wants to wipe out the dinosaurs. This one guy is just like, I don't want to wipe out all these things. I mean, you could have even made it, kept in, like yeah. this ecological thinking type of person, but... I don't know. He just just made him because he gets so much exposition, he gets so much of the nonsense yeah. words. He sounds boring. Well, I wonder how much of that comes from the book. You know, them taking it from my the book. Mm-hmm. And also keep in mind Straight that this is the same year that Jurassic Park came out. It didn't come yeah. out before anything, so they probably didn't even know how big it would be to uh, name these things. That you know, and yeah, keep, sure. also keep in mind, Velociraptors were not a thing. That's right. At the time, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jurassic Park made it that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right.